Hello everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Feed the Beast. When we left off, I made some basic Tinker's Construct tables, and basically just cut down trees for an entire episode. But this time, I went ahead and did some things in advance. I, you'll know yesterday that I counted out that I needed at least 120 sand, gravel, and clay in order to make route so that I can make a smeltery. So I went ahead and mined those resources off camera and I'm going to make grout. All 120 pieces of it. A little excessive I think. But alas. So I'm just going to let this smelt. Now, I wanted to talk about Tinker's Construct tools. I've been told that I don't need to constantly be making stone pickaxes and stone axes just for mining basic resources. I can use stone for anything. Now, my favorite thing about this is I can take a stone pickaxe that I made just in this tool table here, just with some stone items that I made, a tool rod, a binding pattern, and a pickaxe head. I made that, and I can repair it with just a piece of stone. I never have to use sticks again to make a pickaxe. That's a miracle. Also, I added a white background to our little zombie jerky farm. <laughs> Interesting. And I've made changes to our tree farm. The more trees I've been mining, the more saplings we've been getting. Now, eventually I want to make it so that this mountain over here kind of plateaus about, I don't know, five blocks above head level have a giant tree farm up there so that it's not in my way of the field here. When I was mining earlier I had a lot of trouble finding my door. Ooh, hello skitty. Got him. Okay. Um Apart from that, I started out the very basics of a mine shaft. I plan on mining all the way down to diamond level, which is Y level 12, I believe. I'm going to do most of that off camera as well, just mining resources. And I made a couple more chests just for stone items, and probably need another chest for ores, to be honest. Okay, so make that now. I'm still really surprised that it takes me four logs just to make one chest. And to make a double chest, I need eight logs. It's just crazy to me. Okay, so I'll use that for ores and things that I just find in the mines. Ooh, skeleton skull. Nice. Add that to the collection. Okay, so where are we at here? 18 seared bricks. Perfect. Now, I need a controller, which if I remember correctly was 8 bricks like so. Yes. Mighty smelting. Let's see. Okay. I'm going to familiarize myself with this book off camera. I'm sure that you guys won't want to hear me read this. So I'll put that away for now. And I'll just make the rest of the pieces that we need. Now I need two tables, which was a seven pattern like so. Yes. Two casting tables, we'll need two valves for each 
casting table and drain, which was six like so. Now I need controller, drain, tank, tank. I need the tank. Okay. Which means I need to cook sand just for one piece of glass. Go sand, go. Are these ready? Yes. Oh, I've discovered that I need to find a way to automate this process because this is kind of annoying. Turning around, finding food, having to put it back up. It's survivable. But still slightly annoying. There we go. Okay, so we have the basic makings for our smeltery. I'm gonna go ahead and lay that out over here. Uh, torches? Oh, right here, okay. Yeah, I've decided that I'm going to be mining down on this side of our little valley and have my smeltery up top here. So, uh, I'll, I'll clear a space out off camera quick and then be right back and we're back so I've cleared out this spot here oops cleared out the spot here for a smeltery I think that's the right amount um, two blocks off the side here These are going to be our smeltery drains go. One casting table on each side. And controller tank. Okay, so I'll put the controller down and you want to put the seared tank down next to your controller. One more brick and it'll turn on. So now I need to find a way to put lava in here because that's going to be our source of heat to melt our ores. have a smeltery. So that's a plus. Now, again, I'm going to go off camera and I'll do a bit of mining. I'm going to go down to diamond level, like I said, and I'll probably end up strip mining, at least for now, just so that I can get the materials necessary to actually make a thing that can carry lava. Can I use to carry lava actually? Like cans? No, not just, just can. Empty can, empty can, can. There we go. Tin. Okay, so I'll, I'll go do some digging. I'll see if I can find three tin. And I'll, I'll be back when I do that. Okay, so we're back again. I got pretty lucky and I found quite a bit of tin right off the get-go. So I'm just gonna put down six tin, three tin. That's what I did, three tin. I'll let that cook. And that'll let us get a can. I also did a bit of running around when I was looking for gravel to pick up. I actually found a lava waterfall that I can use to just 
as a quick picker upper. Here we go. Put these in here, upside down bucket. 12 cans. There we go. Let's go climb a mountain. I don't know why I thought this would be easier. <laughs> Alright, that's a creeper. Nope. Nope. Goodbye. Goodbye. I just realized it's night. Let's sleep first. Sleep and then go find lava. Oh yes, I had to lay down a bunch of limestone here because a creeper had blown me up. That was when I learned that I really need to sleep at night instead of trying to adventure. Oh, there it is. Looks like it's burnt down a couple of these trees already. But that's okay. I just really don't want to die from this lava. Keep my distance and hope I don't get shot by a skeleton. There we go. That up and that'll go away. And now we can go back home. Okay, so we have our can of lava. Just right click on this tank. It gets rid of the can, which is unfortunate, but it'll have to do for now. So, what we have here iron. I want to smelt our iron. So, it's going to take time to heat up, and when it does, it's going to turn into liquid iron. And then we can use it to cast iron stuff. I've just come to the realization that I need to make casting molds. Okay. So let's look up cast. So if we want to make ingots, I'm going to so there needs to be a brick. Oh no, I could use anything. Um Molten aluminum brass. How do we make molten aluminum? With aluminum and copper. Well, I don't really have any aluminum with me right now, dude. I have two aluminum. So if I get one more piece of aluminum, I'll have enough to make a cast. Okay, I'll be right back again. Time to do more mining. Okay, so I'm finally back from mining. I didn't really get much for resources. I did manage to get aluminum after about 10 minutes of digging in a straight line. That is kind of obnoxious. But I've got it. So I believe the mixture was three aluminum to one three aluminum to one bronze copper that's what it was
so that's what it's going to look like. Come on, it's milk. Get out. There we go, molten aluminum brass. So I can just pour that into there now. Take my brick away. Put it in there for now. And start pouring into here. And I think it's cool. Now I wonder if I can just make right off the bat with this. How much is this going to make? It takes about an ingot per cast. I wonder if I could just cast out some pickaxe pieces. Right. Okay, so tool rod pattern. I'll need that. Binding pattern. And the pickaxe head. Put that away. Now that I have those pieces, let's try to make a cast of those. Easy enough. Stone tool rod. So I should never need to do that again. At least for those pieces. Okay, so iron's done melting by now. I can use that to pour into the casts to get my pickaxe pieces. Pickaxe head. There we are. Discover that you could use the pattern chest to hold casts as well, not just not just the other wooden templates. Just really handy. Really helped me out there. So, if I'm correct, that's going to make me an iron pickaxe, and I'll need an iron ingot. Just one for now. Let's go back home. Come into the tool station. I want to make a pickaxe. Yes. The Iron Age. No more stone tools. I've had to repair this thing at least 15 times, just trying to find the necessary materials to do all of this. But it's done. Now, remember last episode we wanted to make a chisel. Which chisel is that? This one here. I just need a stick and an iron ingot. I've never been happier for an easy recipe. Go. 
chisel. Now, I already went ahead and cooked some stone bricks that I can use to turn into stone bricks. And there it is, mossy stone bricks. If I put that into a pattern of eight, oh no. Did I do it wrong? Moss. Oh, I just need one more. Is that it? Oh, there we go. No sense wasting resources. Okay, so I have my chisel ready. I have my pickaxe. I'm just waiting on mossy stone bricks. There it is. Right there. Pattern of nine. There's our ball of moss. Okay, so let's take a look in the quest book here. There's our ball of moss. We got that achievement. Got our smeltery. We've completed that. Four more lava cans. Four more lava cans. And make some cans. Well, I didn't even know that was a quest, but I, I did it, so. The song's starting to get old now. <laughs> okay, well, that's all the time I have for today. If you like the episode, give it a like. And if you want to leave a comment, please do so, telling me what I could do to better improve on the episodes. My name is Mortar Durant-Oton. I hope you guys have a great day. Bye for now.